Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another vlog of Kushi's Kitchen. Today I will show you how to make pizza. Here I will take about 5 cups of multi-purpose flour and yeast 2 teaspoon in one bowl of water mixed with 2 teaspoon of sugar for the yeast to rise. I will leave it for a few minutes. Here is the mozzarella shredded cheese, capsicum, tomato, olives for the topping, pizza sauce also for the topping and this is the quick to make chicken burger. Chicken burger pieces I will cut and uh, use it as a topping for the pizza. It will be quick and even much tastier for the kids. Here I have taken the flour and I will add little salt in it. Some more. Now I will mix it. Now the yeast has risen. I will add the yeast water in the flour. Now I will mix it. Let me add little more water to it till I get the dough shape. Okay, the dough is ready. I kept it. Uh, I kept kneading it for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Now I will cover it with the lid and leave it for about 20 minutes to rise or you can leave it for more one hour or two hours it's up to you but uh, if you like you can use it instantly as well after 20 minutes or if you want you can leave it for one or two hours to rise. So by the time the dough got set I have cut the capsicum, tomatoes olives into half pieces and onions and even the burger slices I have cut it into, into a long elang, elongated shape and the shredded cheese is also ready along with the pizza sauce now I will make the pizza roti on the rolling pad first I will add some flour on the rolling pad Now let us take the dough, I have cut it into one fourth piece, so first I will take one piece, As far as possible I try to use my hand to enlarge the dough. Now I will grease the oven dish with liquid blend of lower pork, butter and canola oil you must grease it nicely so that the pizza doesn't get burned now let us brush it The dough is set on the oven dish. Now I will add the pizza sauce. Nicely spread it everywhere. Now I will add cheese on it. The shredded mozzarella cheese. Now 
Now it's time for the capsicum, olives and onions. little tomatoes now some capsicum Now some chicken. Now we will keep it in the oven for about 10 minutes. For kids, I don't make it crispy. I make sure that it is much and much soft so that it's very easy for the kids to eat. But for elder people, I make it crispy. Now for the double crust pizza, I will show you how to make it. First make it into the circular shape and make it thin now let us add some cheese in the borders now here i have put all the cheese in all the border areas now let us cover it Move it like this. Stick inside again. Like this keep moving. Stick it all around. This is how we make for the double crust for the cheese filling in the roti. Now we will add the pizza sauce. This is especially for the cheese lovers, those who love cheese very much, they can try this type of pizza. Now we will add some cheese. I use a lot of cheese because my kids love cheese very much. So I will use a lot of cheese on it.
two more loops. Let's bake it for about 10 minutes again. Pizza is ready. Time to take it out. Now we will add the double crust pizza in the oven. And let's bake it for another 10 minutes. Until then we are going to cut this pizza with the pizza cutter. Please immediately cut the pizza when it is all when it is immediately done. Mmm, pizza is ready, time to eat, so please serve it with ketchup if your kids like it. The crispy pizza is also ready. Time to take it out. I've cut it with the pizza cutter again. It is very easy. If we cut it immediately, it is very easy to take the take out the slices. So now here it is. This pizza is also ready. Let's the pizza's crust is also so nicely made there is no burning at all so it's too hot so this is the way to make the double crust pizza